Okay, so now we're going to move on to our orange top body tones. Not all of these dolls are actual orange tops. These dolls are a mixture of orange top, I want to say the skateboarder doll, and the, um, yeah, most of these are between the orange top doll, the skateboarder doll, and I feel like I'm forgetting one other doll that had the same complexion, and some of them might be like slightly different in tone, because not really an exact match a lot of times, but anyway. Um, what I can remember, I'll give you guys the information for. So I want to start with this doll. She's a semi-MTM hybrid doll. And I say that because, as you can see, her upper torso and upper body is not articulated with made to move joints. However, she does have the knee joints here. And she doesn't have any joints in her ankle. But I actually, this is probably the only joint that the made to move dolls have that I don't really fuss over too much. Like, it's not a necessity. So if I have a body that doesn't have that ankle joint, but it has all the other components of a main to move body, I'm okay with. I'm not a big fan of the ankle joints anyway because they're really flimsy and they don't feel that stable. But I do like the variation you get in being able to do flat shoes or high heel shoes. That's nice. But anyways, just for the aesthetic of it, I do like these kinds of feet a lot better. And this particular body, it almost looks like it has a right and a left foot that's like designated for each foot so the shoes that she probably came with were probably shoes that had a left and a right foot which i always think is nice with the barbie dolls you can't always reuse those shoes for every doll but um and you can't always put every regular like generic barbie shoe on these dolls feet because they don't always fit but i just like the way they look because um, it looks more realistic. And this head was sent to me with the other dolls that came with RuPaul from our friend Alfonso. And she's an Integrity Toys doll, so her head is kind of hard. Uh, Alfonso routinely reroutes his doll hair. And he does such a good job of it, like blending the hair in, that you um, you can't even tell if it was rooted like that from the factory or if he did it, unless you just know what to look for. So that's a good thing. That's a good thing that you can't tell. But anyway, yeah, so I don't know, you guys. I don't know that there's a version of this head floating around someplace that people could buy um, that looks just like this. But I like the way she looks. And I've got my made to move Ken body here on our green haired BMR guy and his um, whole body is made to move of course and he's got his original body and the original skin tone and this body I thought this body was the same skin tone as the Texas A&M Ken doll but actually I'm wrong and when I saw him in person I realized he's actually a little shade lighter than that one so I, he can't be used as a body donor for that particular doll, which I wish he could because I do need more of those um, bodies, but that's okay. But he's very handsome and he still has all his same original makeup on and so you're not seeing things. This is actually how the doll comes with makeup on his face. <laughs> he's got eyeshadow, he's got lip gloss, he's got eyelashes, and his hair is... um flocked but I plan on customizing him at some point I just don't have time or space for that right now so I'm just leaving him alone for now because I don't want to do anything I can't finish but that's my intention for him along the line but he look he's got nail polish too <laughs> my son wears nail polish anyway it's actually I feel like my son's nail polish right now is the same color like it's very similar to this it's like a burgundy kind of a color but he just does it to match with his outfits Okay, so the next doll in this skin tone I have is Miss Rainy here. This one is probably one of my best and my favorite repaints that I did. And she is also a character on our show. And she's like, loves everything. And she's really nice and she's really sweet. And that's just Rainy. And she's kind of slow because she's a dead. Anyway, and she's got a Mattel dress that we customized with our images. And it's got one of a kind written on it because she's all one of a kind. Duh. But she's got the same skin tone. 
Then my next one is this lovely creature. Oh, she's so amazeballs, okay? Amazeballs. I've seen some people post pictures of her on Instagram where they did something different with her hair. They like straightened it or they made it um, curly, but it's like not these tight, tight curls. They're like more loose, bigger curls. I've seen her with braids. Yo, it don't matter what you do to this doll. Like any version of her you have, she gonna look good. And this doll has the same head sculpt as one of my favorite um, Hard Rock Cafe dolls that are like rare now. Like you can't really find them anywhere for a decent price. They're, like all over 170 bucks or something. Um, so that's part of the reason why I wanted this doll because I love that head sculpt. But that particular sculpt, the one I'm talking about, the, the first doll, she has a darker skin tone than her. But anyway, I don't care. She's one of my absolute favorite dolls that I have in my collection. And this one I also think was a Carlisle Nuera design. And I put her on a made to move body. So she's fully articulated now. She's gorgeous. Um, this one is also, it looks like, I think she's a birthday wishes doll, I wanna say. This doll, she has a very old school head sculpt. Um, I can't remember. I think this one is an Aphrodite sculpt, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it is. And she's got kind of a big forehead, but a lot of dolls from like the 90s era dolls, they kind of did have big foreheads uh, by default. <laughs> and this doll, I named her Honey Blackburn. I love that her eyes are like a light brown color. They're really pretty. And I think, I think I wanted her to be Either she was like mixed, or maybe she's mixed. I feel like I wanted her to be like part Portuguese or part Brazilian and part black maybe? I can't remember. But anyways, I think she looks really sweet. And she does have an open mouth, but it's not super noticeable, the teeth, because it's very, very small little like strip of teeth, so it doesn't bother me. So this one is also one of my favoritists. She is a pretty girl's doll. Look at how, how luscious her lips look. Um, she's the same doll as there. I showed you guys my other two that I had earlier that had a darker skin tone and she has a very light colored hair, kind of like that Beyonce hair color. And it's super long. Look how long her hair is, wowzers. Bro, but I had the hardest time putting her head on this body for some reason. You do have to kind of heat these dolls' heads to make them more, like, malleable because they're very hard. But I had the doll's head, like, halfway on and then, like, the last part of the peg didn't want to go in. And it was just driving me freaking nuts. It took me, like, months to get this head on this body finally because the original body I had her on, which was the same kind of body, her, her ankle joint, like, broke. So she ran, she didn't have a foot <laughs> and there was no way that I could fix it. So I just was like, whatever, I'm just gonna put on a new body. I was so mad though, like it took forever. Anyway, but it was worth it because she looks so good on here and it's like such a perfect match for her um, skin tone. I wanna say I named her Sonata um, after my daughter and she's so pretty. This one, what the heck doll is this? I'll try to figure it out. But I love her face. Ugh, look at her face. She just looks so, like, badass. But she's so pretty. I love her lips. Look at her lips. Wow, look at those lips. Uh -huh. So she kind of reminds me of a Barbie version of the sculpt. And I don't know. I feel like it's, like, inspired by her. It's the cheekbones, like, the lips. Kind of reminds me of this doll a little bit. And like, look at the noses, don't they look really similar? I, I think sometimes Mattel, they be like low-key spying on the other doll companies. <laughs> and they be like, hmm, I wonder if we could duplicate that. And then they like make their own versions, but they're never gonna admit that because why would they? But anyway, she just looks like that to me. She just reminds me of her. Um, but I love the way that she looks. This this skin tone might be the one that I actually have the most of because I feel like it's like a never ending. Oh my goodness, there's so many. Jeez. Okay, she came with rooted eyelashes, but they were longer. I think I cut them down a little bit because they were too long. But she has a really nice 
light brown kind of color on her eyes. This doll also had a, a teeth extraction surgery done, and I I think I I did some a little bit of customizing to the face to make her look a little older. Although you can't really tell here in this lighting, but if I have like a close-up picture, then you can see that she has kind of bags under her eyes a little bit. Anyway, this is Viera Jackson. This is supposed to be the mother of my two twins who are half black and white, but they're like super pale. Um, so I showed you guys Sierra and Reagan in the first installment of this um, series. And they also had their teeth removed. So look at how pale they are, but they're supposed to be black girls. And so that's the character that I decided to make for their mother. And I guess she's a nurse. <laughs> Or, I don't know, she a doctor? I don't know, she got some kind of prestigious hospital job, right? But yeah, and then this is just a little graphic that my son made. So that's the Nikki head sculpt. And Nikki usually came in the skin tone in each version that they would release from Mattel <clears throat> for the most part. So here is another Pazet head sculpt that was a birthday wishes doll from the line of 2017, I think. And... She is, I named her Nola, which I actually named her after someone's baby that I had met at one of my jobs. Um, one of my customers, she was like pregnant the entire time she was coming to the store. And then one day she didn't have a belly anymore. And I was like, oh, did you have your baby? What did you name it? And she was like, oh, her name's Nola. So I was like, that's cute. I'm gonna name my doll after her. And that's what I did. But Nola's mother looked very similar to this doll. So that was my way of like remembering where I had got the idea to name her that from. But she looks a lot like the customer that I had. Um, and then this doll was uh, Fashionista's doll too. She's the one that they had in like, uh, she, I think she had like a really high ponytail. And like she has this relaxed straight hair texture that I thought was really cool. It's got like very, very subtle um, crimples, like ridges in the hair. And this texture actually is the same texture that they use for the Gabby Douglas doll, but I ended up straightening her hair because they only use it on the perimeter of her hair instead of all the way through. So the inside part was already straight and then all the way around her head was this kind of texture. And I was like, that's weird. Why would they only do it on certain parts of the doll's head? So it was getting on my nerves, so that's why I straightened it. But hers is all the way through, so I like it. And it's super long too, like her hair is very, very long. And she's got that Grace head slash and Billy head or whatever that they give to the sewing style dolls. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but th this is the same sculpt pretty much. Yeah, you can't really go wrong with the sculpt because they normally always make the sculpt look good. <laughs> whatever version you end up with, so she's always a winner. And... Actually, that's kind of crazy because I have another one of her in the same skin tone right here that we just added to our collection, which is my Blasian BMR 1959 doll. And let's see, look at that. See, that's the same head sculpt, but they did her face up and she looks very mixed, half black and Asian person, as opposed to this one, you see? Oh, I love her sad eyes. Looks so sad. <laughs> I love that. I love when the dolls have like just I don't know, just something about them just looks like it could be like an ex expression on their face because it makes you like feel like they're thinking about something. But see, it's the same sculpt and they just painted them differently so they have like a little bit different feel. But those two are the same complexion. She's on her original body though. This is not um, this is not a mixed match doll, but. Yeah, she's already made to move, and I, f I did a box opening of her and some of her details, which I'll be putting up soon. But all her hair is braided, and it's super long, so pretty, and this was definitely a Carlisle New Era design, so of course, she's the bomb. She's probably one of my favorite ones right now in the skin tone. This one is the Quinceañera doll. And she is really pretty. She's got long, two-toned hair. It's like dark brown, light brown. She has the actual Teresa head sculpt. 
um, from the 90s. So this is what Teresa looks like back in the day. And then uh, recently we switched to the newer versions of the Hispanic dolls and that's who we're calling Teresa. Which, like I said, was like the blue top doll. That was the sculpt that we had for the blue top. That's why I wanted her because I was like, oh yeah, that reminds me of those dolls that I used to covet back in the day when my parents would refuse to buy me Barbie dolls. Um, okay, got a couple more here in very little time. All right, this one is the Barbie look pool chic doll. And I actually have two of her, but I think I did something to her face when I first got the first one. And it was like this blemish on her face that I couldn't get rid of easily at the time. So Adonis just got me a second one <laughs> to replace her with. And she's on her original body, which was uh, like a semi made to move style body, kind of like Uhura's, where she's got the joints here in the knees. But unlike Uhura, she does not have the joints in her arms. This is just regular articulation here. So that's a little annoying, but it's very dainty and pretty looking. So don't mind. She's so cute. So I named her Jackson after my daughter. My daughter has a lot of names, you guys. She's got like the longest name ever. It's like a whole sentence. So I just break up different parts of her name and then I'll name some of my dolls after her if they remind me of her for whatever reason. This is Alana, who I named after my friend Alana because she looks like her. And she's also a fashionista's doll. And she is on one of these bodies, of course. But she's got a really pretty face. I love this head sculpt. It's quite pretty. Um, this one is a, this is a fashionista's doll that had actually really big, curly, long hair. And I ended up box braiding everything up because it was just too much. Like her hair was getting in the way. <laughs> Even though it was very pretty when it was big. But I named her Sharia after one of my cousins. She kind of reminds me of her. Because my, my cousin, she always used to wear her hair in braids when we were younger. And I was like, oh, so envious. Oh my god, I want some braids so bad. But nobody was braiding my hair up, okay? And she just, I don't know. She just has a, a this like, my cousin's like a business lady. But she also knows how to have fun. Like she's not like really boring business people you know what i'm saying i don't know i don't know if i'm explaining it right but like carrie washington's role in that show scandal like that's my cousin on the outside like publicly but we all like have seen the fun side of her at the same time so it's kind of like you know what i mean like she's able to balance both worlds and that's what this doll looks like to me so i named her sharia and then this one um, is another one of my star dolls. I think I only have two star dolls and I got them both at the same time on eBay. I had like a really good deal. It was like $50 for the two dolls plus a bunch of office furniture and a bunch of other like little things that they came with that were like props. And I was like, what? This is a freaking good ass deal. So I ended up getting both of them and but they were still on their stiff bodies. So I ended up rebodying them. And this one is one of the popular ones. Um, she reminds me of like Beyonce a little bit. I don't know what this head sculpt is called and I don't recognize the sculpt when I look at it. Like I don't have any other dolls with this sculpt. So I don't know, did the star dolls get their own unique head sculpts? Um, those of you who like follow that line a little bit better than I do, y'all know. Tell me in the comments if you know whether or not they got unique head sculpts just for that line. Um, did I forget anybody? I really hope I didn't forget any of them because I don't think I did. This one I just recently rebodied, even though I've had the doll for a little while. This is my Misty Copeland Barbie doll who came on her beautiful ballerina jointed body. She already had articulation, but she didn't have made the move articulation. And I left her on her original body for a long time because I thought it was very pretty and elegant looking and also very tall and slender. And I was trying to see if I could put her onto a tall doll's body. When I took a look at the basketball players made to move body next to her, it really seemed like it was not the right skin tone. She looked like she was darker. So 
I resorted to just using a orange top or a skateboarder body for her instead. So what I ended up doing was I kept her original hands from her own body and I swapped them out because I love the way that her fingers looked. It's so elegant looking and um, very ladylike, just the way that the hands were posed. And I, that's really what I liked about that doll. So I was like, no, I gotta have her same hands. So I was able to do that, which worked out pretty good. And then the rest of her, I can't do like the tippy toe feet that she had. Um, Cause those feet didn't have a joint that I could swap out. So what else? Oh well, but that's okay, it's better than nothing. And she's got on one of our little clone uh, things on her clothes too. And she still got her original hairstyle, which I was going to take down, but I can tell there's gel in there and it's gonna be a whole process. So I haven't really messed with it. And she still has all her original makeup on her face that she came with. So she's got very glittery eyeshadow. And her Firebird makeup still on. Beautiful head sculpt. I think the Misty Copeland doll has her own head sculpt that was unique to this doll. Um, I could be mistaken, but I don't think so. Usually these collector dolls, they only make for this head sculpt initially. And then later on, sometimes they'll reuse those sculpts for other collector level dolls. But I think she's the only one with the sculpt. So I really wanted her. And I'm not like a fan of Misty Copeland in general, but... I do like this doll because she's pretty so even if it wasn't you know her ballerina doll I still would have got it because I didn't get it for the ballerina stuff in fact I don't even do anything with the ballerina stuff so whatevs but anyway I really love the way that she looks she's very peaceful and and sweet looking and then this other doll I have here this is before I forget I knew I was missing somebody so this is the carnival sculpt but for this one Remember the Leanne Rhymes doll that I showed you guys with FAO shorts and um, my my birthday wishes Barbie? This is the same sculpt, but I actually took her teeth out. So that's why her smile looks a little bit different. She doesn't have all the teeth showing. I don't mind this sculpt with the teeth showing, but I just wanted to see what it would look like without the teeth. So that's why I removed it. But she is still smiling, of course, because she just... Her face up just looks like, you know, it's supposed to be in a smile. So she's always going to look happy with or without the teeth. And this doll does have rooted eyelashes. And her hair, again, was very, very big um, curly hair, just like my doll Sharia, the fashionista here. And so I did the same thing with her hair that I did with Sharia's hair. I just gave her big box braids. And it's basically the same style. See? They match yeah but this doll which was originally the carnival doll uh, she is I think she's like the only one that has like a brown person's skin tone with the sculpt um, although I guess you could argue that this one does too because she's kind of like tan but it's not as as like noticeable I guess but anyway she's supposed to look like a Brazilian girl so that's why they used that skin tone for her and uh, her original body was stiff. The only problem I had with this doll though was that the makeup that they used for her eyeshadow was so strong, like it was so uh, on there that I couldn't just use regular like acetone to remove the makeup. So I forget what I even did. I don't even know if I got all of it off, but she had crazy like just glitter all over her face. And it was like tribal makeup kind of, like just everywhere. And, <laughs> and I thought that it looked out of place because after I had taken all of her festival stuff off, she just looked like over the top when I put regular clothes on her. So I didn't like the way that it looked. So I was trying to get rid of it and then it took me like a really long time to finally figure out how to get rid of all of the stuff on her face, but I was able to do it. And I think one of my viewers actually gave me some pointers on how to get it off because it was just so difficult to get off. But anyways, she's all right now. I also gave her some baby hair on the edges of her head. So I did a little bit of customizing for her and um, I like the way that she turned out. Okay, so that's everything in my stash right now. 
that I have. I'm surprised that I even have as many as I do. I'm counting 81 dolls that are either a hybrid um, made to move body or on their original made to move body or have made to move type joints in their articulation. So that's basically what this compilation was. I have to include this in the video because including her, that would make her the 82nd made to move doll that we have in our collection at this time. Um, I'm probably gonna end up using her body as a body donor for one of my other dolls that I wanna put on a petite body. And I'll swap her head onto one of my other spare made to move bodies that I have. <clears throat> but uh, that will be number 82. What? And <sighs> it's kinda scary, you guys. <laughs> It's kind of scary, but most of them are variations of brown skin tones, which I'm really happy about because this would not have even been a dream that I could fulfill in my childhood because it didn't even exist. The thought of having this many variations of brown skin tones and um, sculpts was just like unheard of, you know? Unheard of. All the brown dolls back when I was growing up had the same head mold, which is this shanny sculpt that is on a poem and almost all of the dolls had that same sculpt and just different colored clothes or different colored you know uh hair and then a lot of the dolls just had like just crazy kooky like hair textures that were very difficult to keep neat and untangled so it was a hot mess trying to take care of the dolls that the few options they gave us for brown skin tones but um, this is our current stash so far, and I am immensely satisfied with them. I'm so grateful that I'm able to even like do this, to even enjoy these dolls and share them with people and have the freedom to be able to collect because not everybody in the world does. And those of you who are um, you know, following us and that are part of the doll community, I want you guys to remember not to take your dolls for granted or be so judgy of other people who don't or can't have all of the same dolls that we have in our collections. I know sometimes people get kind of like bougie with their dolls and will be like, oh, why don't you have this doll yet? It been came out. But everybody don't got it like that. So let's not do that to each other, you know? Whichever ones we can afford to get that we have or that we can you know, share with each other because a lot of these dolls were given to me by other collectors and I really appreciate them for doing that because I probably wouldn't have so many if people weren't sharing with me. So I really appreciate you guys and I hope that um, this has inspired some of you to go ahead and customize your doll collections. You don't have to settle for their stiff bodies <laughs> just because you're afraid to customize. I've customize I want to say like 90% of what you're seeing here today and it was totally worth it I did make some mistakes along the way but it's okay that's how you learn and it's just plastic you guys it's just plastic if we mess up it's okay <laughs> it's only plastic they're not real people you're not hurting anyone it's just plastic okay um yeah drop me a comment and tell me which dolls you were the most impressed with or maybe that you like or that you have or that you want go ahead and leave it in the comment section and um how do you guys feel about all of these made to move options that are now available in the male dolls i'm really excited to see what other skin tones will come out and possibly other body types but i'm satisfied with the regular male um physique that we have for the kins as long as they have the made to move joints, I'm okay. Even if they don't have a bunch of different body types, I do want them to have different body complexions though. So tell me what you guys think in the comments. And that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and for hanging out with me today. And I hope that you and your dollies are following us on Instagram where you can communicate with us a little bit faster. Have a dolly day.